ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Well, hello, everyone. Good to see you today. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast. And we've been off the air now for just a little while. And uh, my wife and I were out west visiting with the kids for just a little bit and spending a little time with the grandkids. And so I apologize. We were off the air. And so anyway, it's good to be coming to you back today on this Tuesday. Let's see, January the 24th, 2023. Again, I hope you're having a great day today. It's a beautiful day where I am. And we thank the Lord for that. Yes, my voice is... Uh, not up to par today, but I just hated not to do the broadcast, so uh, we're just going to sort of squeak through it today and uh, uh, trust the Lord to, to get us through it, and so I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your prayers with that. Well, listen, there's been a lot of uh, updates and uh, going on with Facebook and um, Apple and all those kinds of things. One of the things that I'm noticing on this side today is that there's just a lot of weirdness when it comes to Facebook. Uh, some of the things that are, 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 are somewhat normal are not normal today. I'm not receiving notifications about the broadcast going live. Um, I'm not receiving some of the notifications that uh, normally let us know about the services at Calvary. And um, th that's not the first time that that's happened. It happened again weeks ago. And I had to go into my settings and make some make some changes. And so you may have to do that as well. So I said that to say this. If you would be so kind as to share the broadcast today, uh, share it with everybody you can. Because I feel like probably there's a lot of people that are having the same issues, having the same issues with uh, not receiving the notifications. So anyway, if you'd help us with that, we would appreciate it. We love you guys. We count you as a dear friend and a wonderful part of our Countdown family. And so we're, we're again, we're glad to be back with you today and excited about what the Lord is going to do. We are going to give you, um, um, uh, I'll tell you what let's do before we do anything. Let's go ahead and recognize our live audience today. And then I want to make some very important announcements. And then we will give you a very brief lesson today. And hopefully our voice will be in a little bit better shape tomorrow. And so um, anyway, <clears throat> let me see who's on here with us today. And uh, right at the last minute, I had to, to, to use another device because... Uh, one device I use on a regular basis just decided to update right in the middle of the broadcast today. Uh, here again, that has to do with Facebook. And so anyway, it looks like Beverly Frizzell is watching today. Beverly, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Countdown. Uh, and uh, is this your first time? And if so, welcome. Man, we're so glad to have you watching today. There's the hooks from uh, Morganton, North Carolina. Barry, Christine, hope you're doing well. Barry, we've been praying for you. And I know you were in the hospital. And I'm glad you I hope you're doing better. And Christine, I hope you're well today, and it's good to see you on Countdown to Courage. God bless you guys. Thank you for being here. Let's see here. There is Patsy Bird. Hey, Patsy. Thanks for watching from Harmony, North Carolina. Good to see you today. Almeida Campbell, Miss Almeida, wonderful to have you aboard today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Karen Hoffman. Hey, Karen. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome to the broadcast, Karen. We appreciate you. There's Peter Spirito. Peter, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day today. Lisa Helms is watching. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you today. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. It's great to have you on here with us. There's Gary and Christine Edwards. Hey, Gary, Christine. Good to see you guys, and it was wonderful to see you in the Lord's house on Sunday. We love you guys and appreciate you tuning in uh, today. Let's see, Drusilla Mendoza. Hey, Drusilla, good to see you. I've been praying for you and Martin, been praying for the kids. Uh, 
and Drusilla, wonderful to have you on the broadcast today. Thank you for tuning in. Let's see here. Let me make sure I've got everybody. There's Rose Ballou. Hey, Rose. Hope you and Rachel are blessed and having a great day today. It's so good to see you. Eddie Weatherman. Hey, Eddie. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a blessed day. Hope you and Kathy are, are uh, wonderful and having a good week. And we welcome you aboard today. Uh, Susie McCauley. Hey, Miss Susie. What a blessing. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's see. Is that from, uh, is it from Arkansas or Missouri? Uh, which one? Where, where, where are you watching from, Miss Susie? Please remind me about that. And I hope your husband's doing well. And it's good to see you on the broadcast today. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's great. Um, let me see here. Looking really, really fast. Abel Seats. Hey, Abel. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you and Lauren are blessed and having a wonderful Tuesday today. Uh, well, listen, that's some of the ones that I can see. Again, um, I just, I know this is the case. Folks are not receiving notifications. And so um, I, I just know on my end, I know that a lot of my devices are doing updates. And, um, and evidently, when you do the update, um, it's changing some of the settings when it comes to social media. And so again, if you'll share it, share it, share it all that you can and help us get the uh, word out there, we would appreciate that very, very much. Well, listen, let me make a couple of announcements real quickly if I can. Of course, tomorrow, Lord willing, tomorrow's going to be Q&A for us at Calvary Baptist Church. We love question and answer. It's a great time of fellowship. We'll have live music performed and and uh, we'll enjoy a great time of eating together. And then, Lord willing, we'll take about 30 minutes and organize into a question and answer. And it is a delightful time. It really is a wonderful time uh, for our Calvary family. So looking forward to Q&A tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock, uh, in our fellowship hall. And so look forward to seeing you there for that. And then also, yes, our, our revival is coming up just around the corner. And uh, we are looking forward to uh, starting our New Year's revival this coming Sunday. Pastor Gary Blaylock will be kicking it off. And then, of course, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the services will start at 7 o'clock. Now, when, uh, Sunday night, Sunday night will be at 6, like normal. But Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Monday and Tuesday, Dr. Daryl Cox will be preaching for us. And then on that Wednesday, Pastor Mark Hall and then, of course, we have the Daughters of Calvary are going to be with us. The uh, Nun Sisters are going to be with us. And then our Calvary Bluegrass is going to be performing. We're going to have a great time together. I hope you'll be a part uh, of that. And then also, I want to make mention of this, that uh, in uh, light of... Um, uh, Valentine's Day coming up in February. We're going to give away this week uh, one of my latest books. In fact, it is my latest book uh, entitled The Main Ingredient in Marriage. Now, if you already have this book, hey, this is going to be a great time to give it away, especially with uh, Valentine's Day coming up. And so if you'd like the opportunity to win the book right now, just like and share, like and share. And uh, and then toward the end of the week, Lord willing, my beautiful little redhead, we'll get those names together and uh, we'll give that book away to the one uh, who we draw out of that pool of those that have shared the broadcast. And so that will be great. Well, hey, listen, I want to do this today, if it's all right, and just for a few moments, not long at all, but I want to talk to you about what some consider to be a dirty word, and that's the word affliction, affliction. I'm going to be honest with you, it's not even something we like to talk about, affliction. We don't even, we don't even like the sound of that, affliction. Now you say, preacher, what are you talking about when you uh, mention affliction? Well, I'm talking about sickness, I'm talking about things like disease, things like death, um, things like hardship or burdens or problems. There are some who believe that affliction is not even to be a part of the Christian life, that once you get saved, that everything's going to be rosy, that God is never going to allow hardship. He's never going to allow sickness. He's never going to allow heartache. Uh, that's not going to be a part of the Christian life, but nothing could be further from the truth. Affliction is a part of life, whether you're saved or whether you're lost. And so let's talk about affliction today. You know, um, I want to ask you a question today. How do you, how do you um, respond to affliction? 
Or I want to ask another question. How do you respond to someone who's going through affliction? Now, one of the things that I notice in my Bible is that when I read about affliction, I notice, especially the Psalms, is where we're going to camp out today for just a moment, Psalm chapter 119, if you want to go over there. One of the things that I notice is that the psalmist, when he refers to affliction, does not refer to affliction in a negative way, but 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 on the on the uh, flip side of that, actually refers to affliction in a very positive way. I want to draw your attention to that, if I could, today in in uh, Psalm one nineteen, and look if you will at verse number sixty seven. Psalm one nineteen, verse sixty seven. The Bible says, and the psalmist says it like this: Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now he said, Have I kept thy word. Wow, what a verse. The psalmist said, before affliction came, I wasn't very faithful to keep the word of God. But he said this, since God allowed affliction to come into my life, now I'm finding myself keeping the word of God. I'm finding myself walking with God. I'm finding myself getting something from the word of God. Let me read that for you again. Before the psalmist said, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. How about Psalm 119 and verse number 71? The psalmist said it like this. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Wow. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. And then in Psalm 119 and verse 75, the psalmist said, I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Now, you know, there are some people who believe this. They believe that when affliction comes, when hard times come, when sickness comes, uh, when the child of God might have a disease or cancer or problems or whatever the case may be, There are some that associate that with the judgment of God. Now, can God use affliction to judge? Of course he can. God can use anything he wants to to judge. God can use a hornet or a bee uh, to, to bring judgment, and he did so in the Old Testament. So yes, God can use affliction. Uh, to judge people, but but here's what I'm saying. Oftentimes when affliction comes, we always associate that with judgment or we associate that with negativism and nothing could be further from the truth. God uses affliction for many different purposes and that's what I want to talk to you about, Lord willing, this week. Now, let me give you today as we go off the air, let me give you um, um Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 55, verse number 8. Now listen to what our Bible says in Isaiah 55 and verse number 8. For my thoughts, God said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And so God says this, God says that, you know what, you're not always going to figure out what I'm doing, even when it comes to disease or problems or hardship or afflictions. God says sometimes I use those things to accomplish different goals in different lives. And so here's what we're going to do, God willing, this week on the broadcast, we're going to talk about the reason for affliction. There may be somebody today that's watching this broadcast and you've been going through a very difficult time, a very hard time. And uh, and there's been times when the devil has come and the devil has said, you know what, if God was so good, God wouldn't allow you to go through that. And you've even questioned God. You've questioned the love of God. You've questioned why the Lord would allow that to happen to your family or why the Lord would allow that to happen to you or why the Lord would allow um, something to happen to your child. Well, listen, I want you to be a part of this broadcast today because because we're going to unpack that a little bit, and we're going to talk about the reason for affliction. If you know of somebody that's really going through it right now, and you think that this would help them and encourage them, please share the broadcast, and then please pray for my voice, and God willing, we'll be a little better tomorrow. I hope so. And again, I started not to even have the broadcast today, but I just 
listen, I just wanted to be with you. I just wanted to go ahead and go forward today. So uh, anyway, I appreciate so much you being a part of the broadcast. We just put our prayer helpline on the screen today, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast, friend, and you don't know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, please call that number today. And we would love to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. If no one answers immediately, be sure you leave a callback number so we uh, or one of our prayer helpline workers can call you back. And then all of our countdown family, don't forget, don't forget, you finish it for me. Be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. Hey, listen, hope you have a great Tuesday. And God willing, God willing, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Countdown to Courage. Be blessed.